from Moon Pie Tarot. This is going to be your love reading for October 2022. This will be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Uh, please remember the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. Personal reading links are in the description box below this video. Now, we're going to take a look at after the split, after a breakup, to see what the relationship, current energy is at this time, the cause of the split, their true feelings for you, so on and so forth, okay? So please do hit like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. And let's get started here. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Please show Aquarius what the relationship's current energy is at this time. Okay, all right. You've got the king of wands. Okay, so as an energy, this shows up as confidence. Hmm. Maybe confidence that things can work out for some, okay? And for others, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let me get a clarifying card to see what's going on. Oh, wow, okay. You might be in separation. You could be married to this person. Um, and there's a, there could be like some type of separation, whether it's physical separation, it's all one. So it could be physical separation, or you could be in a relationship with them to some extent, uh, like a long-term, maybe you have a home together, or you have a connection to family with this person. The current energy is your, so if you're in a split or you're separated, like you're not. In, and it, especially in this person's energy, I feel like they don't view that there's a split or that there's a breakup. Now, however you want to take that is however you want to take that. But I feel like the energy itself is, I feel like there, there's, a, there's like somebody wants to come back or have some kind of a reunion or connect with family or friends that you both either they still are or reconnect with those people that you have in common your mutuals okay so this is the current and also if you were not in any kind of long distance or i don't know i said long distance maybe it is a long distance relationship the energy here is is somebody wants to be your you're plus one, or they still think that you, you and them are, you and they are. Now let's take a look and see what the root cause of this split or this. So when I say split, like I said, it doesn't, it can be just like a disagreement where two people are not talking or there's like trouble in paradise. But let's take a look at the root cause of the split here. Oh, all right. Eight of swords. Wow. Um, so the root cause There's, uh, someone feels trapped or someone, there's this feeling of restriction or someone keeps playing the victim and it's not going well, okay? And this is like the root. This is at the heart of the matter, okay? There, there, someone feels restricted in a relationship or feels trapped or feels as if they can't get their thoughts together or they can't speak, you know, even though... Even though this person's mouth is, it's not blocked, but someone's having a hard time seeing another person's point of view or understanding what they're saying, okay? So because that sword energy represents the intellect and our thoughts and our speech and our language um, and everything to do with the head and the brain, um, there might, for some of you, there might be um, an issue. Um, there could be a mental struggle uh, or maybe a, a disorder. There could be depression or anxiety um, or someone's on the verge of having a breakdown. Okay, and, and there's, but there's, there's just this really difficult situation that has occurred that has caused some type of breakdown in um, a relationship or you know some type of marriage or family dynamic okay and this is the root of the problem 
the root. Now, it's an eight, and eight does represent power, authority. Uh, somebody might be trying to control another person, okay, and organize their lives. Uh, somebody could be very materialistic. This is, you know, all about um, power and control as well with an eight and mind control too could be playing an element or playing out here and is causing this is what's caused the split. Okay, what is what are their true feelings for you right now, Capricorn? What are their true feelings for you? Okay, well, Queen of Cups, I mean this this is very deep feelings okay i mean i feel like this person and and this might not make any sense to you and that's fine i'm just giving the message i feel like this person they feel that you are a very nurturing healing and supportive kind of a person and compassionate and a, and a very caring kind of person um you know they may have told you that you were smothering or insecure or that you had an addiction uh, issue or something like that or some kind of, maybe they were, they, they might have been in the reverse at times um, and whatever they've said or whatever their struggles or their issues are come out of their mouth, I, I, I still feel like underneath it all, I'm just hearing that song from No Doubt called Underneath It All, I feel like this person underneath everything uh, really does have deep, loving, warm feelings for you, okay? Um, and these are just their true feelings for you. So if you, it's on a need-to-know basis, Aquarius. If I said Capricorn, please forgive me because I just did the Capricorn reading. Or maybe you have connection with a Capricorn. Um, but yeah, these are their feelings for you. Now, their intentions towards you at this time, Capricorn, okay, well, there's a lot of blocking, definitely some, some blocking energy, um, but their intention here is to make some kind of a compromise with you. They want to compromise. They want to come to terms and maybe have a, maybe at some point, you know, again, they want to talk to you about something and clear the air. That two of swords is like, you know, truth. This is like listening to the intuition. Um, it's interesting because Aquarius, these two cards are very similar in that they both are blindfolded. They both have swords around them. Um, hands behind the back here represent like that prisoner kind of thing or self-imposed prisoner and hands in front are blocking. Um, I feel like this person wants to try to balance things out here with you. Um, and they're, but they're protecting themselves and they're, they're keeping themselves. It's, it's not protecting themselves from you, but keeping themselves from engaging in any kind of an argument. They want to sort stuff out with you here. Okay. These are their intentions towards you and this relationship at this time. Um, definitely, they want you to, to sit down with them and work through things and try to come to some kind of compromise or uh, a decision to make some kind of decision because there may have be or currently or may have been a lot of back and forth and both of you not really being in alignment with each other. Um, I'm hearing they want you to hear them out and hear their side. Um, and you probably want that as well. Okay. Or, or maybe you don't, but if you're here listening to this, I take that you're probably interested in something to do with this person. So let's see the future nature of this relationship, Aquarius. Okay, Six of Swords. So, I mean, that's a positive as far as this connection goes. There might've just been an argument or something and somebody reacted and things just kind of like you guys broke up or just ignored each other or went into the other room and just not talking, but the Six of Swords is progress, okay? Um, This feels like moving forward. This feels like getting out of troubled waters, okay? And getting into a more calmer situation, a more peaceful place, okay? Um, I feel like this person is going to, it's like you guys are gonna have to 
bring up these issues in order to resolve them. They're not going to get resolved unless there's communication, unless you can talk about them. And I think you know that, Aquarius, but I feel like this person now knows this. They want to try to resolve and make this transition to change. Okay? And if you guys are not, you know, I feel like this person's going to try to maybe drive over to your house or come over to use a lot of sword energy as well as fire and I feel like this person really wants to talk about things talk things over the future nature of the relationship is progress it it's where you guys will overcome you will resolve and overcome whatever the the problem what you know the the cause of the split um, the the issue this person if they were trying to have things their way and we're controlling and demanding. Um, I feel like this person is is definitely going to come forward and, and tell you that they were blocking you from having any input or having your say. And I feel like this is also they're going to hear you out. Oh, you know, and that's like this back and forth conversation between you and them. Okay. So let me see, Aquarius, what the best step is for you to take right now. Now, and some of you... When I talk about a relationship breakup, I know for some of you, if this isn't resonating, this could have something to do with a friend or a family member or a coworker. Okay, so please do keep that in mind. So the best step for you to take in October, Aquarius, is the emperor energy. Okay, now for some of you, like I said, now that's twice, Aries is showing up. So there could be a connection with an Aries or a father figure or... Um, you know, some of you might be having an issue with a father or a father figure, okay? Or maybe it's a parent of your child as well. Um, but the best step here, as far as an energy goes, for you to take is take a leadership strategic position going forward. Command respect that somebody hears you out and that they do not disrespect you. The moment disrespect comes into play, in a conversation, you remove yourself because then you can no longer resolve problems because someone is not treating you well. So I feel like the energy is there, at least the advice here for you is command respect from someone and don't take, nobody messes with that emperor, empress energy. They ha the emperor doesn't walk around telling you should respect me, you should respect, the emperor says, shows it shows it i command it by my actions not with my words okay and i feel for you this energy male or female whatever whoever you are is to level up boss up take a higher take the high road take the high ground in this situation and not deal with anyone that is trying to control you or control your mind or um, put you in a position where you feel trapped or isolated okay so interesting reading Aquarius I hope that that was helpful for you for October and I will be back in November to do another relationship breakup reading <laughs> all right you guys love you very much don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button on the way out and I will see you all next month